Good afternoon, people watching in 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the Gospels. In 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day. According to Scripture, we're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? Key word is believe. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. At that moment, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, the moment... You put your faith and trust in him. Not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time. And sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit will minister to you. The Holy Spirit will feed you. The Holy Spirit will lead you. The Holy Spirit will encourage you and he will change you. That's what he does. This came out today off the sun. So it says, uh, it's funny, <laughs> that North Korea is doing this right now. Show of strength. So Kim Jong-un shows off his new ballistic nuke. And a warning to the West after the U.S. moves nuke sub to the region. Now, I did a video on that, I think, Monday, that the U.S. had moved their nuke to the region over there. So this is what he did either today or yesterday. So he watched on as the terrifying weapons were flaunted in the military parade. They had a parade in Pyongyang. So it goes on to say that he stood shoulder to shoulder with Chinese and Russian officials as they reviewed his newest nuclear capable missiles and attack drones in the capital. Like I said, North Korea, China, Russia, Iran, Syria, all these rogue nations are together says in a chilling warning to the west at least four new nuclear drones were towed through the square yesterday new attack and spy drones were also flown overhead in a show of strength the news agency reported the new surveillance drones could be used to survey targets, assess damage, and generally enhance situational awareness, according to Ankit uh, Panda of U.S.-based uh, Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. Kim, Russia's defense minister, uh, Sergei Shugo, and Chinese Communist Party member uh i think his name is hong zong lee hong zong talked laughed and saluted as north korean troops marched and weapons rolled past i told you these people have one common denominator they hate the u.s and they want to see the u.s destroyed on every level no matter what it takes and guess what? <laughs> Unfortunately, this current administration is helping them. Just saying. The parade is also understood to have included North Korea's latest Hong Song 17 and the Hong Song 18 intercontinental ballistic missiles. They are believed to have the range to strike anywhere at any time 
in the US. In a speech in the parade, North Korean Defiance Minister General, uh, I think it's uh, Sun Nam, accused the US and its allies of increasing tension in the region. So it comes after the U.S. Trident missile submarine docked in South Korea. The first time the U.S. has sent a nuclear-armed submarine to South Korea since 1981. The parade came as North Korea marks the 70th anniversary of the signing of the Korean War armistice, known as Victory Day. So uh, Shugo jetted into the kingdom this week amid celebrations as Russia gets cozy with North Korea in a bid to get weapons to use in Ukraine. So Kim hosted a reception and lunch with him and vowed solidarity with Russia's people and military. In the meantime, the United States and his allies are, the, the allies of the United States are moving further and further and further away from the US. Shugo praised the North Korean military as the strongest in the world. And the two discussed strategic security and, defi and uh, defense cooperation against none other than, of course, the U.S. and the West. At another meeting, Shugo read a congratulatory message from Putin who thanked North Korea for his support during the special military operation in Ukraine. The U.S. has accused North Korea of providing weapons to Russia for its war in Ukraine. So, let me read that again. The U.S. has accused North Korea of providing weapons to Russia for its war in Ukraine, which both nations have denied. Let me get this straight, but, but okay. So the U.S. has a right to deplete its weaponry from our U.S. military to give to another country. But getting mad at them, that, that, that yeah, 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 this whole thing is a joke. State Department Deputy Spokesman, uh, I think his name is Vedant Patel, said on Thursday the U.S. was incredibly concerned about the ties between North Korea and Russia. I wonder, are they going to do anything about it? North Korea has been under U.N. sanctions for its missile and nuclear programs since 2006. And... Don't look like they're going to stop. So, yeah. So now North Korea has joined forces with Russia. This ought to be interesting. Very interesting. And the U.S. is concerned. Yeah. While Joe's busy trying to get Hunter a pardon. Go figure. Yeah. I'm going to link this in the description box and I will be back later. If anything else do come up. In the meantime, have a nice afternoon. Thank you.